Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome to a Division News video. So if you guys have been following this video like myself, you're probably dying for some new information and news on this, and we've finally got some really juicy stuff to get into. So in this video I'll be going over the latest community Q&A and going over some of the things that you may have missed. So first up we get a look at the skills and we can actually change your skills at any time in the game. It looks like when you go into the skills menu the game will actually still be playing so you obviously don't want to do this while you're in combat and want to find a, maybe a safe spot to hide behind as he's doing in this video. But I'm going to pause the screen so we can take a closer look. So you're going to see a list here of all the skills in the division that you can choose between. They are separated into three different columns. We've got security, medical and technology. Now these skills will not all be available to you at the start, obviously. It looks like at the left hand side they've got some sort of percentage system, so you have to get a certain percentage in each of the columns to unlock each of the skills. So for the first one you need 10%, then 30%, then 50%, and then 70%. Now what's interesting, in the video they mentioned that you're going to be able to use two of these skills at once on each of your bumpers on your controller. But if we zoom in here, you can actually see there's a third one that you can choose. And this one's going to be activated by pressing both of the bumpers at the same time. Now this leads me to believe this must be some sort of special ability or special skill that you can activate by hitting both at once. So the next part, we're moving on to gun customization, and this one really surprised me. It looks like we're going to get an absolute ton of customization options on the weapons, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to be able to make use of weapon skins, we can alter the colour and the pattern of the gun, and you even get this menu where you can have kind of like a 360 view of your weapon um, and apply your mods and see in real time what it looks like with these mods applied. So that's pretty cool. And I'm also going to pause here because there's quite a lot of information to go through at this part. So as you can see we've got all the different modifications that you can add in different categories. We've got skins, optics, magazines, underbarrels and muzzles. And it also looks like we're going to have different leveled mods. So for example on this screen you can see that this pistol has two different suppressors you can equip um, and the level 12 suppressor has much better stats than the level 4 one, as you'd expect. So the last bit of information we get is on how many characters we can actually create in the division. So they can confirm you have up to four characters that you can have at the same time, and we also get the sneak peek at the character select menu. So this is basically um, the, the official start menu of the game, and when you load into your character and you can you know select which one you want. And from this screen you can also see um, you know, your character's overall level, your character's weapons, the skills that you've got currently, and also their current location. I'm also pretty interested to know exactly how much we can customise each character's appearance. So if we're lucky, maybe we'll get that in the next Q&A video. So there you go guys, that was everything you need to know from the latest community Q&A video. I tried to keep it short and tell you guys exactly what you need to know. So be sure to leave it a like if you did enjoy, and I'll be sure to do it for the next one. Have yourselves an awesome day, and I'll catch you in the next video.